What's going on YouTube? I thought today for uh, a fun little video, I reached out to my fans, my subscribers, and I asked you guys to ask me questions on what you would want to learn about me, whether it be my personality, my background, my strongman career, any future plans, anything like that. Nothing was off limits and you guys didn't disappoint. So without further ado, let's get into your questions. How long did it take you to get a to a 1,000 pound deadlift? That took a while because um, when I came to Strongman, I actually came from bodybuilding and in bodybuilding, at least the way that I was taught, I never deadlifted once because it would essentially enlarge the, the muscles in my midsection. It would take away from my natural X factor that you go for when you are competing in bodybuilding. So I never deadlifted. I first started Strongman in 2018 and I uh, my, my max deadlift was around 585, 600 pounds, and it was like like rounded back, like shaking and hitching all the way up. It was ugly. I'm glad there's no videos of that. But um, but yeah, I had a very very weak deadlift, and that was in 2017, 2018, and. In 2021, I deadlifted a thousand pounds. So it took me about three to four years. How do you stay motivated and deal with everyone saying that you're only going to do well in a one day show competition as opposed to World's Strongest Man? That's a good question. I like to, uh, I like to consider myself a very well adapting athlete. Uh, and what I mean by that is I like to criticize almost every area of my game and where I'm lacking so that I can make myself perform better in future situations and competitions. And I think maybe the biggest thing outside of getting injured or stuff that's out of my control with the anaphylactic shock and the food poisoning, um, outside of those things, the things that I probably need to work on the most is how I mentally approach World's Strongest Man. Um, trying to conserve as much energy as possible and making sure that I'm approaching each event um, the best that I possibly can just to make sure that I can guarantee the best performance because whether anybody wants to admit it or not, if I'm on my game, I'm mentally focused and I'm healthy, can't hang with me. What supplements are you currently taking? Um, I am very thankful that I have a company that I work with, Muscle Force. They help me, they help provide me with all of the stuff that I need on a daily basis. Um, and I have worked all of this into my daily routine. So this is every day without fail. These are all the supplements that I take. I take my daily multivitamin that they make, um, my omega threes, brain function. I also have, um, uh, uh, guts and greens. It's great for digestive health and it really helps me absorb all the nutrients from the food that I eat. Uh, protein powder. Obviously, I indulge in that a lot because I'm drinking a decent amount of those throughout the day and the flavors are just the flavor selection is awesome. So I never feel like I'm having to choke down a protein drink. That's really nice. Um, and then obviously there's the pre-workout. Um, they have two different kinds of pre-workout and I enjoy them both, so I use them both. Uh, for different days, one day be con being conditioning, the, I'll, I'll choose the, the lesser caffeinated one and then for the heavier days where I need to get a little bit more amped up, that's when I'll go for a little bit more of the, the more intense high stim one. And then I'm also obviously taking creatine to help keep my size up and retain a little bit of water, all of that good stuff. But yeah, those are pretty much all of the supplements that I take in in a day. And obviously my BCAAs, that's another one that I throw into the T-Rex concoction when I'm drinking. Uh, you see me drinking anything when I'm at the gym, it's going to be my muscle force pre-workout, BCAAs, and uh, it's also going to be my uh, creatine. Do you think that some of your showmanship during and after events could be costing you strength and energy needed in later events? I don't think so, personally. I feel like I have a good combination of both. Um, in Strongman, we're expending so much energy during the event that it is smart to save as much energy as possible. But for me personally, because it comes so naturally and because there's no other way to say it. I have fun when I compete. Like I have a great time. I like getting the crowd involved. I like getting a reaction out of the crowd, whether that be good or bad. And 
I have fun, man. Like I do, I do what I love for a living and not a lot of people can say that. So I, I make the most out of it and I enjoy, I enjoy being a showman. It's just who I am. So, uh, honestly, I plan on keeping that part for a long time. What event was the most natural for you to pick up on and what event has been the hardest for you to pick up on? Good question. I would say the there's two events that I picked up on really well and that was Viking Press and the other one would probably be Yoke. There's something about uh, picking up a heavyweight and just sprinting with it because I'm naturally athletic as it is. I come from an amateur wrestling background and anybody who's been an amateur wrestler before knows that we're just a different breed entirely. <laughs> and yeah, I think Viking Press because before I got into strongman, um, I dabbled a lot in like heavy benching and I've always been very good at that. And having a really good bench press is actually it's it's a relatively good calling sign of somebody who will be good at Viking press. So the carryover is really, really good. So I think those two would be the ones that I kind of snapped into the easiest and picked up on the fastest. The one that I actually had to work on the most was deadlift and stones. When I started strongman, I don't know what it was. Uh, I was very good at uh, sandbags. I was very good at kegs, Husafel, all of those. But stones, I can never really pick up on. It took me a long time to really get on the uh, the technique and being able to use the tacky and hand placement, foot placement, the triple extension, all of that good stuff. And deadlift, obviously. I mean, I started strongman with like a 600-ish pound deadlift for max, and it was ugly. It was awful. That's why, actually, that's why I reached out to Adam Dirks to be my deadlifting coach first before he became just my coach for every event because he's a world-class deadlifter and his technique is Im impeccable. So I reached out to him to help me out, cleaned up my deadlift, and now I'm a member of the Thousand Pound Club and I'm one of the best stone loaders in the world. So the only way that you can really fix something with a problem like that is to work at it. What made you go from bodybuilding to strongman, and have you given any thought to your post strongman career plans? That's a good question. Well, firstly, I did my bodybuilding show. I started cutting when I was 380, 385 pounds of really, really bad and unhealthy weight, and I cut down to 240 pounds when I got on stage. So I lost about 140, 145 pounds. Um, it was one of the hardest things that I've ever done but I'm really proud of that accomplishment because although I didn't win my bodybuilding show, I've only done one show but and I didn't win, but I was really, really proud of that because that took about eight months of very, very strict dieting, training so many, like four or five hours a day, working on my posing routine every day, doing all of that cardio, like that was miserable and I put myself through hell, but I'm really, really proud that I did that because I proved that mentally I'm strong enough to tackle something like that. With that being said, um, I wanted to do something completely different because the diet was just making me so miserable. I'm a fat kid at heart. Uh, you'll find that most strong men are, and I like my food, I like my sweets, I like my junk food, pizza. I can't live without pizza. So <laughs> I wanted to find something that was weightlifting related where uh, the diet wasn't so strict and I was actually going to do powerlifting first because I thought it would be an easier transition uh, going from bodybuilding to sh uh, bodybuilding to powerlifting because it's only three events that I would have to really fine tune and learn the technique for. But I ran into somebody doing strongman when I visited a powerlifting and strongman gym. I ran into somebody doing log. I asked him a couple questions about the sport. I asked him a couple questions about the log. He actually invited me to join in on log, and I did, and I fell in love with it. And that's how I became a strongman. What does your diet typically look like? Um, well, in the morning I always start with a nice big bowl of oatmeal and I have a uh, muscle force protein drink. I like mint chocolate chip personally. I'm told that that's not the most popular flavor, but there's a lot of people out there that are wrong. And then most of my diet, actually, you know what, I'll show you this. What I like personally is the T-Rex meal that I get from Stacked. They are my, uh, they are my meal sponsors, love them. And pretty much I have the T-Rex meal. It is steak, it's uh, fried up steak and scoops of white rice. Um, it's, it's very basic, but it's literally everything that I could ever ask for in a meal. It fuels me 
to do all of the stuff that I do. And then just to hit the, the, the calorie intake that I, that I like to hit every day, because obviously what I do being this big, lifting the heavy weights that I do, um, I just, I, I need a lot of calories to sustain all of that and all of that size. So I also, uh, just, this is, this is the most frequent one that I do. I just throw a bunch of shredded cheese on it after I throw it in the microwave. So again, it's super convenient. It hits all of my macros. Um, it helps me get to my calories, not to mention it tastes really, really good. So yeah, I do the T-Rex meal. I do steak and rice and then I'll throw some shredded cheese on that. And I usually have that about four times a day, five times a day, give or take. And then usually the last meal of the night is something sweet, carby, maybe like a pop tart or something like that. I'll have another muscle force protein drink. I want to say that my calorie intake every day is around eight to 9,000. It's just, it's just what I need. And, and then I take my lullaby. Uh, by Muscle Force. It helps me get a good night's sleep. We're going to go for a little bit of a rapid fire now. Um, I'm going to try to bang out as many questions in the shortest amount of time as possible. So let's put two minutes on the clock and try to bring out as many as I can. My thoughts on competing with Brian Shaw. I love competing with Brian. Um, I like to think that we're friends, even though I probably annoy him. And obviously he's a living legend. Tell me your ultimate cheat meal design for you. Um, pizza, steak, and then a shit ton of ice cream. The second best Jurassic Park movie, that's the Lost World Jurassic Park. That's not even, that's not even a question. When can you see a T-Rex on OnlyFans? Never. <laughs> Opinion on arm wrestling. Not the biggest fan and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. How is training and hanging out with Eddie Hall? I love hanging out with Eddie Hall. Uh, he's a super fun guy. He likes to have fun, smile, joke, laugh. I love going over to England and seeing him. My celebrity bang list, I will never tell. <laughs> Go-to brand for beer. I do not drink, ever. My second favorite dinosaur is a Velociraptor. My heaviest deadlift is 1,000 pounds. Opinion on Tom Stoltman. Uh, he's tall, he's strong, and he's funny looking. Favorite event to compete in. I like yoke and farmers. Will I be on the World's Strongest Man 2023 podium? You bet your ass I will. Who's stronger? Me. Who do you have top five at World's Strongest Man? Me first, I don't care who's, who's after me. My favorite PR of all time is my 1,000 pound deadlift or my 450 log. Can you lend me some power? No, it's all mine. Who's angrier at when they lift, you or me? Pfft, me, easily. I perfected that shit. Who has a better beard, you or Eddie? Eddie has a better beard, I have a better everything else. Do you ever use the assault bike, ski erg, anything else? Yes, I use all of that equipment, I love my cardio. Will you, compete, will you be competing in Giants Live this year? Yes, I'll be at a bunch of them. What are your go-to snacks to help you meet your calorie intake? Uh, I like Pop-Tarts, but I'm also a fan of, uh, during competition, I like bread with peanut butter and honey. Oh, that's time. All right, guys, so that was a Q&A brought to you by all of you guys. Thank you so much for submitting all of your questions. Uh, I appreciate you trying to get involved and I hope that I answered your questions. I hope that you had fun with the video and uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by and until next time, T-Rex Kingdom, baby.